Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and it's nice to be sewing with you today. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm making the longest, skinniest quilt block. Not your traditional square or hexagon or this kind of quilt block. It's long and skinny and it, I'm calling it a quilt block and I use that word lightly. So I'm using three six and a half inch squares. I have a stack of squares. I'm still trying to um, use them up and make some donation charity type quilts. And this one is kind of fun and easy to, easy to make. Uh, I'm using three squares, like I said. Two are kind of similar in color, mostly. Some I veered off that, that. But then I have some pops. So two similar color, and then I chose a third square that kind of uh, hopefully pops out. Now all of these do not pop out as much as uh, the red, for example. But I think a little bit of red in a scrap quilt is really nice. Um, this one has pinks, tans, blues, yellows, and it's a fun scrappy quilt. So let's get started. For our block today, I'm using six and a half inch squares. You could use any size square as long as they're all the same. And I have two similar colors, and then I have another color that I'm calling my pop. Something that uh, kind of pops the opposite color, a darker color, something that, and red always is a good pop in a quilt. I like to add pops. It could be a white if you have two darker colors. And then I'm cutting two inches all the way through all three layers. And then I'm measuring one and a half inches right here. So I'm just making two cuts two inches, one and a half, and then what I have left over right here. Then I will mix these up and I will have three blocks that will go together and make my long quilt block today. So I'm gonna put my red right there, reddish color, and there's one of my greens, and here's my other green. So I'll sew these together, and then I will sew these other pieces together into two more blocks using all the fabrics, three different fabrics for each of my three little blocks that are gonna go together and make that long, skinny block that is not a square. After pressing my three pieces, I'm going to lay them out and put them together. And in this case, I do want similar size strips in a row. Now you wouldn't have to do this. You could turn them around, mix things up. You'll just have to be careful not to get, well, you could do that, I guess, if you want. You could put uh, some reds together. I'd rather not do that. So I'm going to have my pieces kind of like this and I think I kind of want the red to move down from the right to the left so I'm going to add these together I'm going to sew these together and I will have my long skinny block Now, I, if I make a few more of these, I will have a quilt. So I'm going to sit down at the machine and at my table here, and I'm going to make quite a few more blocks. I ended up with a lap size quilt, 50 by 55, and I needed 90 squares to make 30 of the long, skinny quilt blocks that I'm making. So it's fun to dig through the fabric, find some pretty fabrics, and sew things together, 
make that long skinny block and I'll be choosing some what I think are pretty fabrics. This is a red and rusty red and some golden yellows and um, let's just see what I find. And here's the last set of squares before I start piecing them together to make my long skinny quilt block. You can see I have quite a few different pops of color. There's a pink, red, yellow, some softer pops, and some pretty strong colored pops. I just pieced them together and I ended up with 30 long skinny quilt blocks to make my quilt top here. I laid it out on my floor. I have 10 sort of columns or rows and uh, then I put my three long pieces together to make one of those rows. So I need 10 of these to make my quilt that's 50 by about 50 by 55. So I'm going to keep sewing these together and then I will put my rows together and I'll have a quilt top. It's all done, and isn't she pretty? Thank you for sewing with me today, and I'll see you next time.